Namaste. My name is Rui Zimmer. I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak episode 24, My Dentist Head Curtain. <laughs> but I see here. <laughs> it was November. It was very cold in Bremen, minus 5 degrees or so. And my wisdom tooth was arching, I had big pain there, and then I thought, okay, why not go to a dentist? Even in this time, it was just a short time in Bremen, because I lived already in, in India. Then I said, better make it here, finish. Okay, I went to my well-trusted dentist, and he x-rayed and said, we have to pull out your, dent uh, your um, wisdom tooth, but I cannot do it today, and it will be a hard work. So we make it tomorrow, I, will, I need two hours, and in the meantime I have to do all the, all the other patients. Okay. Okay, I went there, and... <laughs> The dentist uh, could not directly pull out my wisdom tooth. So he had to cut it in four pieces, put them out, and again and again I got local anesthesia. <laughs> more and more because he needed over three hours. So he was jumping to the other patients and then back to me and so on. So, and then I could leave and I left my wisdom <laughs> behind me. I climbed down the, the stairs and I had to pass uh, a small market. And on this market there were quite a lot of heroin uh, addicted people. And then I became dizzy. I lost my consciousness and dropped down. So the people on this market didn't care because of the Yankees. <laughs> and so, so I awoke somehow, so I got uh, I'm kicked from a junkie and said, come on, come on, go up, the police will come and you will arrest you. <laughs> something like this. Right? So with my last power, okay, I went up and then straight to the doctor. I had to climb up the stairs and I, I could do such things. I was happy, so I rang as a bell and they let me in. And then, then a nurse was yelling, please, doctor, come. His face is already blue. And I knew what that meant, because I had nursed an old uh, woman, and when she was dying, her face turned blue. So uh, the doctor was coming, and how she said, shut up, because she didn't want it that I recognize in what state I was, that I was dying. And so they maneuvered me to a bed, and I got some injection, and three nurses around me. One nurse was holding my hand and checking the pulse, and she was counting 40, 30, 20, 10. <laughs> and the doctor they were trying everything and said, move your body, move your body. I could not. Can you hear me? I could hear him, but I could not say anything. And so I enjoyed the whole scenery, honestly. <laughs> And I knew I would leave my body and I didn't like to be anymore in the jail of my body, no? of the stupid body. It is just a jail, nothing more. You're totally unfree and you don't have freedom. Okay. <laughs> this was I was thinking and said, I don't care, let me go. No? And then they started with a heart massage. And 
somehow my bad conscience kicked in and said, you cannot do such things. This will give the doctor a bad conscience. Go up, go up, come back, come back. So I came back. And now um, we want to analyze the whole case. I had got too much an anesthesia. This was a problem. And with this anesthesia, also your willpower is reduced, like when you take any drugs. And this case is also quite normal for the people who get a, get a full anesthesia and they can, cannot come back because their willpower is reduced. So they pass by. So I still had a passion. I still had a mission. So, for sure, this was the reason that I was coming back. Okay. This means if you go uh, getting a full an a a anesthesia, think over what you want to make afterwards. That is crucial. Okay. Thank you that I could speak about this and bye.